the Sintamani Stone Project, introduced some years ago, placed stones in strategically important places. This has stabilized the energy to the point that now soul families can form. The gathering of soul families is important in this phase, as it will stabilize the energy on this planet, so that the event can happen as smooth as possible. We need to create as much soul family presence on the surface as possible. We need to undertake two steps. First, connect with our inner or higher self. Connect with the inner, higher self of others, applying the principles of inner, higher self connection. In the time frame from 2012 to 2019, they were in the first phase of transition. This has been a heavy process of intense purification of the planet, which cleared a lot of darkness, but for many people, it was too much resulting in many attacks on and conflicts among light workers. Such conflicts as attacking another light worker are only possible if you are not connected to your inner self and do not understand the soul family concepts. Soul families go beyond these problems. They do not have conflicts. Everybody as your soul brother and soul sister. It is a basic principle of connection. You need to treat everyone as one and meet them from the perspective of a soul to soul connection, not from the perspective of a human being connecting to another human being with all the labels and false personality structures that come with it. We are far more than human. The soul-to-soul -soul connection is the basic connection everywhere in the universe. On this planet, we relate to each other through the programming of the matrix. The human mind is organized this way. It labels conform perception. This is very ineffective. When you use your mind to conform the program of society, for example, the matrix and analyze by thought concepts, you do not use your higher self. You do not get the point. In that case, you get lost and cannot see someone's real true self and soul. Most say 80% of the information you hear about someone else is not correct. Basing your perceptions on this incorrect information leads to misleading assumptions, judgments, and conflicts. However, if you use your mind as a tool to express your soul, you perceive a person as is. Go inside for information. On a higher self level, you perceive the reality of another person beyond the concepts of the mind. The most advanced individuals, a small percentage on this planet, are now making this quantum leap. Before this planet was occupied, society was primitive but unconsciously connected on a soul level. It was not involved, but the whole community was one being. Children were raised by the tribe. It is the concept of a soul family on archetype level. The archons introduced the biological system to control us, the blood family structure to control our DNA. This, in its essence, is a closed system. In accordance with the laws of the universe, entropy and a closed system always increase, meaning problems increase. The biological system has thus resulted in increasing psychological problems, which have been transmitted through the blood and to the family structure.
to resolve this, we need to start interacting beyond our blood family structures. Because many relationships are based on the matrix, this is the first step in the breakthrough. We need to expand beyond the conception of biological families to the concept of soul families and connect and interact on a soul level. This means you connect with the ones you recognize on a soul level and sparkle with. This will be the new reality and the basis of new society for everyone after the event. It does not mean that biological families will stop existing. Some will transform, others will expand, etc. But all will inspire to connect on a soul family level. It will provide a different perception of reality. It will change relationships. There will be many changes after the event. Especially the matrix constructed families and relationships will change drastically. A filtering will take place. Everything that is true of love and light will increase. Everything that is false of fear and dark will diminish and disappear. The main guiding light thus is that whatever is of love and light will remain and whatever is of fear and darkness will fall apart. In the end, all illusions will dissolve.